I found something in Antarctica that doesn't really need a whole lot of explanation, doesn't need a whole lot of lead in. So I'm just going to go right down here to this location and show you what I found. Many of you are familiar with the topic of the elongated skulls that have been discovered, unearthed around the world. We found a few of them down here, but nothing like what I'm about to show you. It's down here in the 6 o'clock region. This is the 12 o'clock region, of course, Antarctic Peninsula. Here we go. This one is so clear, I don't even really need to explain it. I've never seen one this clear down here. It's almost intact, complete. And I'm going to try to lighten up the camera a little bit to show you a specific feature of it that isn't apparent at first glance. And I encourage everyone to go to Google Earth Pro, download, you need a computer, you can't do it on your phone, you can do it on a laptop. If you look in the eye hole right here, there's a smaller hole inside it. Do you see what I'm talking about? Clearly we have a lower jaw, an upper jaw. It looks like most of the teeth are gone. We have the holes for the, the nose, but of course that classic elongated skull shape. It's almost complete. I'm going to get out the measuring tool real quick here and try to show you guys how big this is. I'll have to turn the light back down to do this. From the tip of the chin, to the top of the head is about 50 feet on the diagonal, 48.9 feet. It's setting in profile, so to get a width would be a little difficult. But we'll go ahead and measure that real quick. Just from here across, this is about 28 feet. So it was clearly a giant. Now, in the region, there are other things that by themselves would be incredible finds. We have some dark, shadowy figure over here. We have another one that is seems to be crawling and looking back at the camera. If you look real close, here's the head, here's the, I guess left forelimb and left leg right here. Here would be the back right leg. You can almost see two eyes. Something seems to be behind him as well. So these two shadowy figures and I think there was a third. Yep, over here. Just crazy out of this world stuff. And there was another skull that I wanted to share with you that I had found a while back and had forgotten to put in my list of things to do. This one is back in shadow. As you can see here, we have the eye, the eye, the lower jaw the mouth. It's not quite as clear as the other one. But to, to put the other one, the first one, in contrast, there was another find that kind of correlated with that shame, that, pardon me, that same shape of a skull. This was the, the giant that we had found right here. His skull, collarbone, and the body laying in what looks like some type of a mausoleum, mortuary, something. But next to it is one of these long skulls that you can see here. 
the remnants of what was a spine right here. And it's this very dark valley where we can see other images as well of smaller beings here, here, and some even over here. Probably the most famous skull that we found was this one. It got picked up by a bunch of uh, different magazines and online publications, and it kind of went around the globe. We didn't get a whole lot of credit for it, but such is life. And this is real close to being complete. My personal favorite up until this point had been this one where you could see this elongated skull, the eye, the jaw. And it was found next to what I described as what looked like some type of a deer-like creature that was seated. But even this one is nothing like There we go. This one. This one's nearly perfect. So, I'll let you guys look at this. I'll give you, of course, all of the um, locations, and you can make your own, make up your own mind. But so many in such a short amount of time cannot possibly all be apophenia or pareidolia. I don't know how wind, ice, rock, and snow would ever make this kind of a shape. And for the last few minutes, what I'm going to do is just kind of scroll through some different images and let you guys just see them and make up your own mind. Because... Any one thing can be anecdotally dismissed. But when you look at all of the finds in Antarctica together as a whole, I don't know how anyone can dismiss it. The fifth largest continent on the planet. With untapped natural resources that exceed just about anywhere else. How this could not be a priority for the major governments of the world. I don't know. I think they would be almost dilatory if they didn't, regardless of the treaty. <clears throat> I mean, I understand you don't want to despoil a pristine place like this, but you can't just ignore it. I mean, I like penguins and seals as much as the next guy, but you can't let resources like this, and especially history like this, go to waste. One thing I would encourage a lot of people are they think they need to be on one side or the other of global warming. If someone would approach me and talk to me about it, I'd be like, yeah, I'm totally excited about it. I think it's fantastic. Whatever's causing it, all the stuff we're going to find in Antarctica, all the stuff that we're going to find in the Arctic, what an exciting time to be alive. Things that had been, un that had been buried in ice for thousands and thousands of years, we're going to possibly live to see. I don't know how, that'd be a great way to deal with one of these uh, tree huggers. Tell them how glad and excited and happy you are that everything's being uncovered in Antarctica. And refer them to this channel. Go back to January 1 of this year and show them the video that uncovers literally a hundred things, not including this skull. And young people will kind of be beside themselves because young people especially live for this kind of stuff. Something they haven't seen anywhere else. Something nobody else has seen. I mean, talk about the definition of adventure. Go explore someplace where no human foot has been, you know, left a print since the time of Charlemagne. Or beyond. So, 
Anyway, 10 minutes. I will leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time.